everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video this is just gonna be a super super quick video because i've decided that i really really would like to jump in on this project pan i've said that i would like to take part in the partners in cream project pan which i've seen a few of my favorite project panners take part in and i thought this would be really effective for my collection personally basically this is a project pan that was made by two beautiful and wonderful youtubers who do a lot of project panning whose both names will be on the screen and I will also link their YouTube channels in the description box below because I don't want to get any names wrong or mispronounced. Through this project pan um, and the, uh, the amount of people who are doing it, I found these beautiful, like these amazing people and they are so good at their project panning that I feel a little bit of pressure to do really well too. I am a little bit late to this so basically it is a year-long project pan and it's focusing basically just on your cream and liquid products and there is a quarterly refresh. So I thought because there's a quarterly refresh I'm kind of like in the right time that I could get away with doing an introduction but I won't do like a numbered update it will just be like a April update it'll be the month update um, and all updates will be going up on the 10th of the month because that is when the updates are scheduled to go up um, and everyone who partakes in this project plan schedules and posts the update on the same day so some days you guys, some weeks you guys might have two videos from me if there is an update for this project pan, project pan that is due. In this project pan, you can choose anywhere between three and six liquid or cream products. Basically anything that is not a powder to work so on. I have decided to start this project with four products. I thought that was kind of like a well-rounded number for me and I'm quite happy to work on that amount of number at one numbers at one time along with my rolling project 10 pan for the whole year. The first product that I have put in here is the Tribe Cosmetics the Lip and Cheek Jam. This is a 78% water-based lip and cheek product. I really 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 enjoy this product so I've marked it just here. I'm over halfway done. This was just me using it last year in the summer. I felt like I went through it relatively quickly. The bottle does start tapering, tapering in now so it should go a little bit quicker but we are starting just around here this is a cruelty free brand i i love 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 this product but i am aware that it's liquid and i know that it will go bad in my collection quicker so i would like to work through this and it is one of my favorites then a another repeat offender to project pan to the project pans i have done on this channel is my bare minerals bare pro little um eyeshadow stick cream eyeshadow stick um, so this is in the shade Champagne. All of the writing has actually now worn off of it. And I have marked this on the lid. I don't have that much left, but like I said, I did, this was in a project pan in 2019 and I'm aware that this will start to dry out and go bad relatively soon because this packaging is not secure. And I have already, when I used this uh, a couple of days ago, I had to kind of rub off the dry product. But this is the shade of it. It's really, really pretty. And I'm starting off with very little. So I'm hoping that I could use this up within a couple of months um, and I again have marked it from the lowest um, slant on the product so that is where we're starting. Another product that I've decided to put in here is one of my brown eyeliners. I think this is going to go really really slowly for me because I personally don't wear eyeliner every single day. It's particularly not pencil liner. I can wear liquid liner every day but I don't wear pencil liner every day. However I do think I could use this as like a cream shadow and then set it with a um, powered uh, powder eyeshadow. I just want to use this up. I think this is a Academy of Colour one but I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that but it is a cheaper drugstore brand and this is what it looks like and it's just a typical brown liner. It is quite creamy and quite pigmented so I am a bit worried that it's going to slide across the skin. I haven't used this in a while now. I have marked this on a piece of paper because there's no other illegible way for me to mark this and it's been a while since I've marked things on a piece of paper so this feels very illegitimate. <laughs> so I have marked it excluding the little bit on the bottom here because obviously there will never be product here. So this is how much product I am starting off this project with. I would like to sharpen this. Um, I'm gonna say like twice a month consistently. I think that would give me good progress. Finally, the product that I am the most horrified and most scared and nervous to try and use up. I have already taken the stopper out of this product and that is my collection Velvet Kiss Moisturizing Lip Cream. This is what it looks like. It's in all opaque packaging, so I cannot mark it. There is no way for me to mark it. All that I can really do is hope and pray that when I take it out, you guys can kind of see in there. There is no product in the middle anymore. It's all on the edges, but you can kind of tell from how dirty the wand is there is a fair amount of product left in here it might come to a point where i need to depot this from its container i really really like this formula i think it's really nice i think it also is a shade that can be mixed beautifully with other 
lip products. Again, I think this is one of the older lip products in my collection. I have a few lip products I would love to work through this year, but I just find panning lip products so hard. And I honestly have a fear of panning lip products after trying to pan my Lacquer & Co Cloud Lip in 2019, which is one of the reasons why I put it in my year long project pan because I really like to finish it because I think that will help me let go of that fear that I have of panning lipsticks because I just think it's impossible. And those are the four products that I'm gonna be starting this project pan with. I am a little bit late to joining this, like I said, but hopefully um, you guys will enjoy seeing me try and pan these products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and we'll like to see more videos from me and I'll catch you guys all in my next one. Bye.